Meteorologist Mike Taylor for what we can expect. Yeah, that's right. We had a pretty peaceful morning. Even the afternoon wasn't too bad, but now we'll see some changes that are going to move in. Climbed up to 83 for the official high, average 79, so another above average day. Downtown Detroit, different story. We're at 85 degrees, and we also have the dew point at 67. That's the fuel for the showers and even the thunderstorms, and it could lead to some severe weather in spots. We'll talk about that now. Storm threats for this evening. You want to stay alert if you're still out there enjoying the uh, summer night. Uh, it's going to be from this evening, technically from now until the roughly around midnight. Heavy rain, lightning, and even some damaging wind gusts. These are our primary threats, but we are watching one storm uh, that's moving through Shiawassee County right now that can produce some uh, pretty uh, significant hail based on the radar signature, which we'll talk about in just a moment. Stay connected with us. You can use our weather app in order to do so, as well as Storm Shield. So there's the marginal risk of severe weather, mainly along a Telegraph Road and points west. Let me take you in here. You'll see right on cue. We have a severe thunderstorm that flared up within this level one risk of severe weather. This does include Livingston County and the western sections of Oakland County and even uh, the western uh, fringes of Lapeer. So the western portion of our viewing area has the threat primarily for the severe weather. So this severe thunderstorm warning will remain in effect until around 6.45 p.m. It's primarily once again due to the radar signature there from the hail, the damaging wind potential. And if you look at the direction that it's taking, all eyes are going to be on Livingston County at this point. The storm itself is only about 32 miles from Howe, so no doubt we're going to watch it for you and let you know if it remains severe. The true definition of isolated, though, we have a disturbance rolling through, a very weak, diffused, cold front that's trying to sweep through. It's strong enough to ignite the atmosphere and produce these showers and storms, but they're very spotty across Metro Detroit. Looking at the forecast for the rest of this evening, we'll keep them into the 70s. Tigers game should be coming to an end pretty soon. Uh, but it's going to be the primary concern here, the drought. We can use some rain. Of course, we don't need the severe weather, but we are going to get some help with this rainfall. You can walk through it with the humidity. These storms can tap into that additional moisture in the atmosphere. So any storm will be capable of dropping at least an inch of rain or more in a relatively short period of time. 66 for the overnight low temp. So we go back to the 60s once the storms clear out. Into the day tomorrow, thinking some spotty showers in the morning. Then after that, 85 degrees would be the high temp. Skies would be clearing up, and we recover completely as we get towards your Monday. There is going to be an opportunity for another shower or storm, but then the temperatures are going to slowly get better as highs climb back into the 50s, which is some good news there. So the 70s return, the storms move out, and the rest of the week looks good and dry as the skies clear up. All right, thank you, Mike.